Later this year, UN Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon will be finishing up his 10-year term. Much of the debate over his replacement is focusing on whether the UN is about to get its first woman leader. We ran a Twitter poll to see whether you think it's about time a woman led the global body. Some 72% of people said yes, while 28% said no. So far, four out of the eight candidates who've thrown their hat into the ring are female, including former New Zealand Prime Minister Helen Clark. This report by AFP's William Edwards. He's been in the job for nearly 10 years now, but Ban Ki-moon is coming to the end of his two terms as UN Secretary General, and the race is on to find a replacement. The application process is traditionally held behind the closed doors of the Security Council. This time the process will be at least a little more transparent, says UN expert Richard Gowan. For the first time, the UN General Assembly will be holding hearings with the candidates to be Secretary General. But ultimately, the choice comes down to the big five powers on the Security Council, just as in the past. Another change is that for the first time, women have been specifically invited to apply. As with women's leadership in anything, it sends the message to younger women that anything is possible. Every major organisation like the UN should expect in the fullness of time to have a woman leader, but it's still too rare a thing uh, around the world. So for sure the UN's day will come when it has a woman SG. By UN tradition, the next region to produce a Secretary General should be Eastern Europe. Bulgaria's Irina Bakova is a potential candidate, although as head of UNESCO she may face US opposition following the cultural body's recent recognition of Palestine. Another Bulgarian, EU Commissioner Kristalina Georgieva, is also a possibility, but there are obstacles to her candidacy too. She is seen as being liberal. Um, she's been part of the European Commission at a time when the EU has sanctions on Russia. And so in Moscow there is some suspicion that she's just too pro-Western. The ongoing war in Ukraine and the migrant crisis may make it less likely for an Eastern European to get the top job, opening it up to other regions including South America, while a much talked about wildcard is Angela Merkel, though of course she would have to give up her day job as Chancellor of Germany. In the end, despite the new public hearings, the final decision will likely come down to a compromise between the two Security Council powers most invested in the result, Russia and the United States.